Hey there, fashion lovers. Welcome back to our channel. I'm so excited to share something super cool with you today. Fashion flat sketches. Don't worry if you're not a pro designer, I'll show you how anyone can create these even without expert vector design skills. But first, let's chat about what these mysterious flat sketches are. Imagine a detailed, two-dimensional drawing that shows off every little design element of a garment. That's a fashion flat. It's like a blueprint for your clothing dreams. These sketches are the unsung heroes of the fashion world, making sure everyone from designers to manufacturers is on the same page about how a design should look. Fashion flats have been around forever, evolving from good old-fashioned hand-drawn sketches to the fancy digital versions we use today. Can you believe designers used to spend hours hunched over their desks perfecting these by hand? Talk about dedication. But hey, times change, and so does our tech. Nowadays, the go-to software for whipping up fashion flats is Adobe Illustrator. It's packed with cool features that let you create super detailed and accurate flats. But here's the thing, not everyone has the time or patience to become an Illustrator wizard. It can be pretty tricky to master, and often takes a ton of practice to get things just right. But don't worry, that's where I come in. Here's the real game changer, Rep Sketch. This awesome tool is about to make your fashion flat dreams come true. The best part? You don't need to be a tech genius or spend hours learning complicated software. Rep Sketch is like that friendly neighbor who's always ready to lend a hand. It's designed for everyone and it's totally free to use online. You can design, customize, and even transform your product ideas into jaw-dropping 3D designs. With Rep Sketch, you'll be creating professional detailed fashion flats faster than you can imagine. It's perfect for our fast-paced world where time is precious. No more waiting around for a technical designer, you'll be the master of your own fashion universe. So, are you ready to dive in and learn how to draw a fashion flat using Rep Sketch? Let's get started and unlock your inner fashion designer. On the platform, this design process is broken down into three simple steps, repurpose, remix, and render. Step 1. Repurpose. As the name suggests, this step is all about repurposing. Rep Sketch has this vast ever-growing library of vector flat sketches contributed by community professional designers. This helps us expedite the sketching process. You can explore the design library and find a sketch that can serve as your base. You can use the search bar and look for a tag or a combination of tags to narrow down your search results. You can also search by text here. I'm going to search inside this search by tags section and use a combination of tags, kid, and t-shirt. This infant sleeveless t-shirt design will be great as our starting point. So I will click on this view button to check out more details about this design. The view page of a sketch has all the details about the sketch like the creator's details, sketch details, description, etc. I will now click on the repurpose this sketch button to customize it in the next step. Step 2. Remix. Now we have our base ready on the canvas, so let's remix this to align with our design requirements. As you can see, Rep Sketch offers this super user-friendly online vector editor for seamless customization. This includes the editing and drawing tools. First thing first, let's begin by ungrouping our t-shirt design objects. We'll delete the existing sleeve binding and any extra design objects that we don't need for our dress. Also, delete the back for now. Let's now navigate to the Components pane and look for a frill component inside this decorative trim category. Rep Sketch furnishes a repository of readily available design components, great for inspirations and speed up the customization. This frill panel looks interesting, so let's drag it into our workspace. Double click on the t-shirt sketch to expose vector nodes and reposition the hemline using these nodes. Adjust and resize this frill vector to match the t-shirt at the hem. Now let's duplicate this frill design object and layer the second frill below the first one. Adjust layers and elongate the second frill towards bottom to create a skirt. Let's now move on to adding sleeves. Let's look back into our components pane library in the sleeves category and see if we can find something. This double ruffle sleeve component looks good, so let's use it. Ungroup and delete any extra design object. Reposition this vector to match the top at the armholes. Resize and adjust both frill objects such that they sit perfectly together. Once satisfied, group the frills together and duplicate for the other side. Flip and adjust position. 
Moving on, we'll add color to our sketch using the Color Felt tool and select to group all our design objects together. That's it! To finish off, we'll look back into our design library and try finding a bow to add to our dress using the search bar. This bow tie design looks good, so let's use it. Ungroup and delete any extra design object. Resize and position this vector to sit at the center of our waistband. Edit group to fill color to match the dress. To conclude, proceed to the Save button on the bottom left. Provide a name, description, and relevant tags for your sketch and save your design. Step 3. Render. Now it's time to transform your sketch into a stunning 3D image. Head to your profile, open the view page of your sketch, and click this magic wand icon to unleash the AI capabilities. Customize or add a new prompt, hit generate and witness the magic. Experiment with different prompts to integrate your designs into tech packs or present them in your design meetings. That's how Rep Sketch swiftly turns your ideas into realistic images. Subscribe for more tutorials and feel free to share your questions or feedback in the comments section.